Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How is everything going? Uh, today, I'm going to show you a security risk which I discovered is possible on Android system, the APK file infection on Android system. My name is Bob Pan. I'm a Chinese. I wrote Dexuja. Maybe some of you know me through my work. And I work for China Micro. I focus on the research on mobile security. I love my job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When Android has been designed, Google certainly has security in, in mind. Now, we start from three an announcement that Google made to show Android is safe. Okay, the first was announced in March 2011 because some bad guys play some bad application on the Google market. So Google threw a kill switch on Android phones and they show their power by removing 50 infected or bad applications. And then Christy Bruno from Google made a statement, shocked the world. Miss Chris said, Android is safe. Antivirus companies are scammers and they should be ashamed of themselves. Oh. Those are really strong words. <laughs> and then, on February 2002, 2012, sorry. <laughs> uh, also, Google said Android staff set themselves at a new layer to the uh, security of the Android. The Google Bouncer. Google Bouncer performs a set of analysis on everything on the Google market. And the Google said the malware downloading are decreasing. After reading this, I'm sad. I found Android itself. No antivirus company I needed. I'm going to lose my job. Oh, shit. <laughs> but after I looking into applications on the market, I found my job is safe because <laughs> there are a lot of bad applications still there with a lot of downloads. So Google Bouncer is infective. And this is a blog I published in my thought highlights the, bad, the list of bad applications. And according to the date from China Micro, the malware will be more and more and more this year. Why? Because a famous system like Android will be targeted by real scammers. Everyone knows it. So where is the challenge? Experience tells challenge is to explore the system. And uh, only through exploring the system, we can find a way to protect the system. So let's look inside the system. I want to show you what happens to me and how I find the security list, list risk. Actually, uh, this year on March, one day, I was playing a game on my mobile, on my Android phone, and an uh, advertisement popped up on my screen. I had it. So I'm going to remove it, and then I look inside the APK files, and I found APKs 
I signed the super fast. It contains the Android manifest.xml. We can find the package name, version, definitions for the service, activities, receivers, or, or whatever. And uh, the classes.dx, we can find the code for the traffic version machine. And uh, the meta info photo, we can find the certificate and the signature there. So let's look deeper into the Android manifest file. It's a Google defined XML file. Google defined, but not documented. So we have to find it by ourselves. We can read the co source code there. And uh, there, many tools can read this. But all of them are limited, and we must to do modification on it to make it fit, uh, suitable for the Android system. And uh, the DAX file is in David executed from what? This time Google defined and uh, document. Yeah, we can find the format on the Android website. Yeah, and uh, a lot of tools can modify it. I personally like the SM text. It's well documented and have a nice API. And the smiley back, smiley DX maker are also good. When I was modifying an application on my Android phone, use the ASM DX, I got an out of memory exception. Then I Google it and I find APKs can only use 16 to 32 megabytes of memory. It is limited and it's not enough for the SM DEX to modify a, a DX, so we must do it in a clever way. And uh, at last, I found by start a separated uh, traffic version machine, we can bypass the limitation. Okay, the so last is the uh, meta info photo. It is designed by the Sun Microsystem. Now it's Oracle, so we can find the document from the Oracle's website and tools like uh, JSign from the JDK and uh, Sign APK from Android Source can generate it. But the Sign APK, we have the source, but it, it is dependent on the complement only available on the Oracle Java version machine. So to make it runnable on Android platform, we have to do small modification to replace the dependence. Okay, I put the previous together and build my advertisement remover and then I show the remover tool to my teammate. They said, oh shit, if, if the bad guy got this, this technology, they can build a virus. So I look inside the code again and build a proof of some concept virus. It can work on Android without root or without any exploit. So it's time to see the magic. The so Tom, the, the cat, has an Android phone and he installed Hello World on his device. One day, he got a short message from the mouse the mouse Jerry, and Jerry asked Tom to install a new version of Dropbox, and Tom downloaded it. Then he installed it. Yeah, so Dropbox is actually a virus that it will try to infect us applications on the device. So let's 
open the job box. Yeah, it's actually just the same looks looks like the same, same with the original one. So let's forget about the job box now. Tom get a, an application update for the Hello World, and uh, it pro prompt him to uninstall the previous Hello World. Okay, and uh, install the new Hello World. Okay, now let's open the new Hello World. Yeah, we got to use this app. You must pay me by by dollar. I don't want to pay, so I click click no and a uh, school on my screen. Oh, I hate it. And then we start again. Yeah, we want to use the original Hello World, so we have to pay for the money. Okay, this is actually a virus and uh, this technology can hijack an APK. So to to use so how this works? I split this into two parts, part A and part B. Part A is the payload of the virus. Its duty is to extract and load part B. Part B is the payload of the virus. It will try to find an APK, inject part A into the APK, and uh, copy itself, the part B, into the APK. Because the APK is modified, so part B will try to resign the APK. And at last, part B will promote the user to install the infected APK. So when a virus begins, it starts part A, and part A starts part B. Part B infects another application. And uh, when the another application starts, the virus begins again. So part A, part B again, again. Yeah, this is truly a virus. Okay. Today, I flew from China to United States to talk about the security of Android system. There are certainly security risks on Android system. I hope by talking about the risk, the community can join together to solve it. And we are looking forward to work with anybody to make Android safe. Thank you.